Hi there, my name is Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to walk you through this new product, the JD Confetti Brushes and Overlays. And these brushes all work in Adobe Creative Cloud. The overlays will work in just about anything that allows layers. So uh, all versions of Photoshop, Elements, and GIMP uh, products will all work. So here we're going to start with the overlays. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one of the overlays here. This one, number seven. Select all. And then I would go to edit, copy. And then I'm going to go back to my image that I want to add to. And I would say paste. Now I'm going to turn this into screen mode and I've added that up here as a little reminder. It works in screen mode. So now we have some now we have some confetti that looks like it's sort of flying out of her little hands. If I want to erase some of this, I'm going to add a mask down here and then using a soft black brush and I'm going to change the opacity here to 100%. I am going to just paint out any glitter that I don't want to have on her hands. And maybe you like some of that glitter on her hands because it, in real life it probably would also show a little bit on her hands as well. But just for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to erase it off of her hands. If you had other areas where you want to lighten it we could lower the opacity. and just sort of customize how we see this glitter effect. Now there's other glitter overlays as well. Let's show you a different one. Open in here, we'll try confetti number one. Again, we're gonna to go to select all and we're going to copy and we're gonna go here and Paste it right on in. And again, we're going to place this into screen mode. In this instance, I may want to go ahead and select my option tool and then click my mask. This will make it so that you can't see what this overlay is doing unless I paint into the overlay air layer with a soft white brush. So let's crank up our opacity here to 100% and let's start brushing in some of these effects. Now I'm going to lower the opacity here. There we go. And we could have as much of that as we'd like. And you can just then paint back over it with black if for some reason there's too much here. All right? I hope that was helpful. And now to show you the brushes, we're going to create an empty layer here. And let's select two different colors. Maybe we'll grab the colors from her dress. So I'm going to select here this purple lavender tone. And now I'm going to go ahead and select maybe this sort of pinkish red tone from her her skin tone and I am going to select my brush and I'm going to go here into my brushes I'm going to make sure that I uh, import these brushes I'm going to these are the stamps and the brush I'll show you what each do import them and this will be a single color confetti. You'll see that it's using the color on the top and it's only using the color on the top. Now if I show you the second brush, the two color, it's going to use the color, uh, the main color and the background color. So I'm not sure if you can totally see this, but hopefully you can. I can also put it into screen mode against that dark background, that might be a little easier. But I'm actually getting 
two different colors here. I'm getting both the foreground and the background color. There's some other brushes as well that even play with the colors more, like colorful, colorful confetti. So I'll show you what that one looks like. Oops, I want to make sure that I have my opacity up to 100%. Didn't have that before. So here it is at 100%. You can see these are very colorful versions of confetti. And I'll just quick show you another one of the brushes. You can use these brushes together or separately and create any kind of confetti effect that you want. Again, if you decide that you want to get rid of some of this, just create a little mask. Make sure that you're painting with black. Let's pick one of the standard brushes and we would just paint with a soft black brush over any areas where we didn't want to show confetti. All right, I hope you found this helpful. I hope this makes your pictures look a little more festive. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.